basically bring a thermometer to school <laughs> um don't take really hard classes unless you want to like die and um talk to people and um be a music ed major that's what we've learned today <laughs> that's all we've learned <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back with another video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Angelica here watched my mystery Jeez, bag video. And people people love the mystery bag video. But we got the mystery bags in Massachusetts and now we're in Connecticut, so. I really want to just, just to experience the feeling of surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play some music and then get copyrighted because I'm famous, okay? <laughs> oh, the police! <laughs> I didn't. Can we play your song? Sure, you have to go. <laughs> um, I go to school for music, uh, music education, and um, I have a friend who wanted to do a remix of No Diggity. So I did the vocals, and it was really fun. Um, but it's not like a huge deal, but it's fun. It is. We it was on it. Spotify for like a It was month. on Spotify, and then it got taken down for like legal reasons, which, which was really annoying. Dumb. But I still have a recording, so. We're listening to it. <laughs> Sorry. Shorty, get down, good Lord. Baby, got them open all over. This is the whole thing. Yeah. Strictly busy, don't play around. Cover my trail, got game by the pound. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I can't get out of my mind. I think about the girl all the time. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I got to bag it up. I like the way you work it. No diggity. Basically, we both just finished our first year of college and we're going to answer just like review of the year, like any advice. Um, that we have, you know, you know, spill, spilling all the tea. <coughs> Basically, I went to College of Holy Cross in Worcester, Mass. Um, I go to the College of St. Rose in Albany, New York. We both go to small schools. Uh, we do. So, yeah, Catholic. Basically, okay, what would you rate the school 1 out of 10? Like, your whole year experience. Like, everything. Oh, okay. I'd rate my experience, honestly, probably like a seven or an eight. Um, it was definitely really hard and very stressful, but I think the stress in college, you have more to stress about in college, but your stress is less because you have your friends like everywhere that you go, yeah. you know? Like that's why I think you can manage your stress. Um, I definitely learned how to manage my stress and anxiety more. So I'm gonna give I'll give it a seven. A seven. Because okay. yeah, a solid seven. Um I loved it, but it's just I had some trouble, but I also had a great time. So yeah, yeah. I'd probably give mine a seven too, just because like I feel like I needed to change up like my whole life, like at the end of high school. Like, and I feel like I was able to do that with, like, just going to a new place and, like, living on your own and stuff. I'm, like, taking classes, like, I actually wanted to take. And... This is hard, but something, what's something you didn't expect or, like, weren't looking forward to? Um, or, like, yeah, that you turned out that you loved, anyway. Because it really was, like, I guess, choir music for me. Um, okay. Like, I definitely love, I love choir music. Mm -hmm. And I love performing it more than I thought I would. And I love like being in ensemble groups. But the one thing I was really like reserved about is um, the size. Cause my school is so, so small. Um, there's only 3000 kids and my high school had almost 2000. So like, it's not a big, like much bigger than my high school, which like was nerve wracking. Some parts of it bother me because you feel like you're kind of always in other people's business and like it sometimes takes on like a bit of like high school-ish drama feel which like is tough but then also like what i figured out from the school is that like you know someone who knows someone who knows someone and like everyone at the school like really wants to help each other and there is like a definitely like 
people over there are tryhards a little bit, me too, but like um, once um, I was meeting with a study abroad person, like advisor, and then literally I saw my friend um, and another person like walking and I just said, hey, like, oh, what's going on? Like, just to say hi. And then literally turns out the person that my friend was walking with had studied abroad in like the countries I wanted to go to. So That's we just cool. like talked for like 15 minutes about it and like, it was so easy and like, you can you usually see people you know everywhere and like I'm trying to join more clubs next semester and stuff so like chances are I know someone who knows someone in a club I want to be in and stuff so I don't know the size is really good I don't know I guess like probably the same I definitely did want to go to a small school and I liked the size of mine but I was also nervous because I was nervous that I wouldn't like the friendships would be harder to make because mm. I feel like in bigger schools you can um, like there's more options and stuff. Yeah, I guess. And like yeah, like you can create more groups and stuff, but I didn't find that to be an issue and like I found a group of friends and like I'm sure that like if I didn't like that group of friends I could find another group. So like I think that I thought that going to a smaller school might be a little challenging to make friendships but it wasn't i ended up i do love the size stuff you like needing to pack we should do first of all okay so holy cross this is like specific to holy cross but the freshman dorms don't have lights yeah, um that's weird <laughs> like my dorm did have lights technically but you would turn it on and it didn't make any difference in the room's brightness level or they had lights Ugh. or they had lights and um, they were like so bright and made you feel like you're in like a hospital. And so for Holy Cross, buy a lamp. I bought like one of those ones where like it's like five like light bulb things coming out. Like did you have a rug in your room? Yes, like, I did, but it was okay. really small. Yeah, I didn't have, like our rooms were just like plain floor, no rug, anything. Yeah. I think you should bring a rug if you can. Like That's just, a good one. I don't know, I think um it's better than the hard floor yeah but also another thing that i needed several times but didn't have was a thermometer i should have brought a thermometer to school yeah. and yeah that's literally all i'm gonna say you need i to guess bring. like <laughs> going off of that like medicines too like mm. i was very lucky that my mom literally packed a whole like first aid thing like all medicine ever that cleaning wipes oh um, yeah like wipes is a good one the room gets dusty and like dirty and like it's just so important to have like like wipes yeah the room gets so dusty yeah i don't know like, how many yours but like literally oh yeah. my gosh yeah so bad and so basically okay holy cross freshman you cannot choose your roommate you can but like very limited amount of time and like you have to choose before like june some like the first week in june so like there's no time to choose a roommate because you don't even know who's going to the school yet so i went random um me and my roommate we like got along fine except like we definitely had very very different schedules and um so it was kind of frustrating at times about like being in the room or not being in the room um because like she would have really early mornings and stuff so she would go to bed early and stuff and like I woke up like later so like she was getting ready while I was trying to sleep and like I just really the schedules did not work out so um we're not rooming together next semester I have another roommate um which hopefully will work out better me and Liv Live, love you so much. Love you, love you. Oh, love you. So I guess I had a different experience. Um, and so my school, you can pick your roommate, but if you pick your roommate, then you're put into the farthest dorm from campus. Oh. Um, yeah. So my school is small, but this dorm was like ten minutes from campus, which like isn't too much, but it's like off campus. That's so enough. at yes. night, yeah. Like so at night, like. It has its pros and cons. Like, pros is that, like, you do create your own group of friends in the dorm, and those are, like, my non-music friends who I'm living with next year. Um, and I'm actually living with my roommate again. Um, 
but then like the con is that like it's far from campus um walking alone at night isn't the best thing like mm. i usually try to like walk with someone else but um so that's what it was at my school so i did pick my roommate um so i knew i would be in the farther dorm um and i feel like picking your roommates is very like you could think it's gonna work out great and then it doesn't like once you live together yeah. or it could work out great um i picked my roommate and it worked out really well um our schedules were very different you wouldn't see each other much during the day mm. so then at night like we'd have stuff to talk about like we would oh, talk okay. and then yeah so like, she was like she's like my friend i feel like you need to be careful when you pick roommates because yeah. you never know how it's going to turn out and like if it doesn't work out it's not your fault do you have any regrets regrets uh -huh. I don't know. I regret comparing myself to other people. Mm. Make your own expectations and meet them and exceed them and do amazing. Like, you're supposed to make mistakes and you're supposed to grow. Because if, if you go to school and you're doing 100% amazing, oh no problems, mm -hmm. then you don't have anything to work up to. So, and I think I got a lot of that taken away from me because I compared myself to other people. Gotcha. That's freaking, that's wise. Yeah, wise. Thanks. Um, I think for me, regrets. Sometimes, um, I don't know, I feel like I need, I feel like I need to be in control, like, a lot of the time, and, like, going to college, yeah. obviously, is, like, outside of your comfort zone and stuff, and, like, when I went, like, I felt like, like, I'm a, like, pretty confident person and stuff. I didn't want to, ooh. No. Didn't want to, like, like, I don't know. I feel like I wanted to, like, be, like, in control of all situations. Like, not, like, popular, but, like, well, like, do what's best for yourself. And, like, it's okay to take, like, a night off and, like, just chill, you know? And, like, that is important. yeah, make good friends and all that stuff. Of course I did make good friends. But, yeah, I feel like I just need to, like... Just go with the flow a little bit more. Yeah. What's the one piece of advice? Oh, we could do. We could give advice. Um, and then a piece of advice is, like, everyone wants more friends. Like, everyone wants to be well liked. Like, everyone is just looking for the same, like, a good college experience. So, like, I would, you know, in the first few months, mm -hmm. like, first semester and stuff, like introduce yourself to as many people as possible like go out as much as possible like be friend like don't ever be in a situation where make you uncomfortable because then you're not going to be friends with the people you want to be friends with but like if you have like a little like a deep like a like small interest in something like just join the club for it and then just see like how works see how it works out yeah. because you can always like just not go back or anything and like people want to be friends with everyone like I don't know anyone who said like oh like I have enough friends like no every like literally everyone wants more friends so just keep like putting yourself out there that's what I would oh, say that's good. Advice. especially in the first first semester like that's when everyone's most nervous but it's also when everyone's most outgoing and most willing to like put people in their group chat like everything like that I just spit everywhere but but yeah <laughs> well, that's good that's advice. advice. That's really good advice. Thanks. Okay, now you go. My advice would probably be don't overwork yourself mm. and don't over study. Um, I, I think it's really important to not over study or not overwork because eventually you're not going to process the information the same way that you did that few hours ago. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important to, like you said this before, to just give yourself time to just chill. Like, it's okay to have a few hours to just rest or to hang out with your friends and not stress. Just know your limits and know that you don't have to get hundreds on every single thing. Like, yes, it'd be nice, but if you're struggling to get an A, like thrive for like a b plus and that's okay so yeah thanks for um tuning into this video uh i guess it was like a half vlog half q a which like is chill yeah i had so much fun all that's right fun. well thank you for tuning in all right. catch you on the flippity flop Bye. now put your hand over the camera it'll be cool like just just like put your hand up like okay good <laughs>